Hello guys, today I'm here with another new recipe and we are going to make tropical juice and these are my ingredients. I'm going to use about 4 mangoes, about 9 guavas, small, that amount of ginger, about uh, 7 tree tomato. And then I'm going to use about three limes for flavoring and a little bit of tang. And then I'm going to use this much amount of watermelon. I guess it's half a kg. And then I'm going to use one and a half cup of sugar and two pineapples. Now with the pineapple, I'm going to make a syrup with the pineapple peels i'm not going to throw them away in about four liters of water this all will make about four liters of juice uh let me i've pre-washed my all my fruits and uh i'm about to peel them and, and and make them ready to be blended we'll be right back now i have finally washed my no cut my fruits uh, these are mangoes this is the tree tomato you quarter them you have them and then you scoop the inside with a spoon and this is what you will be left with so you just cut at the tip you cut at the tip and then you have them and you scoop the inside with a spoon then that's the result uh, these are my guavas. I cut the bottom and the and the top, and then I cut them into smaller chunks. This is my pineapple. I already peeled. I already cut the peels and and cut them into smaller chunks. I had already cut that. So with my syrup, I'm using a very big pot here. I did boil this pineapple peels with water because it's flavorful and uh, inside I did put the ginger and the sugar so it's been boiling I'm about to strain I'm about to let it cool and then strain then I'll be adding my blended fruits so I'll just be blending fruits one by one and then after I have this one has cooled and uh, I'll be I'll, I'll be adding them there and then I'll show you the final results guys I'm going to start with the watermelon and then uh, and then followed by mangoes, then the pineapple, the tree tomato and guava, I'll combine them. Uh, my blender is quite noisy. Hi guys, I have finished blending and then now uh, this is the result. I mix them all there and then there's the last batch of the guava I'm going to mix with my syrup I have already sieved it sieved and uh, I usually put it when it's still warm when the syrup is still warm I combine them so that they they, 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 they blend in together and then after a while I sieve and uh, that's it okay um, I'm going to add my syrup now it's a little bit heavy then you see 
using my wooden spoon I combine them together then I'm going to add my lime I just squeeze the water inside I don't mind even if the seeds get inside because I'm going to sieve this thoroughly and I put it in I put the whole fruit inside like that so that uh, there's, there's, a, there's a certain flavor that limes bring and I'm putting this lime because of it will act as a preservative I don't need to put uh, the citric acid and I'm also I'm going to refrigerate it and my family loves juice so much that's why I usually make it because it's quite expensive buying every time from the store and you can use a very small amount of money to buy the ingredients and make a big batch of it these are three limes guys don't worry this will not be acidic because you already have the bases like the watermelon the mango and guys uh, if you don't have the guava and the tree tomato you can only use the watermelon and the pineapple together with mangoes and then you you can put the citric acid to preserve it you don't need to use all those i i i, I did use them because i i found them the market today and i thought why not okay when we come back we would have the final product our juice is ready guys so i'm going to pour can see the way it turned out so there you have it guys you can make your own homemade tropical juice uh, subscribe to my channel and love you guys